ba 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 boos ba boos ba boos ba boos. I doubt anyone that hasn't lived in Hawaii will get that, but Brimstone welcomes you anyway to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. As recall last time, we had these Aslan looking statues light up as we made our way through the castle keep. And we got the double jump. And this flashy new flail. This may look familiar. This is actually the beginning of the game where, you know, Richter ran up the stairs. But there's no more stairs here. Oh well. I never mentioned that part yet, but yeah, this is... We can't quite get to Dracula's throne room, so... Oh well. They weren't going to give it to us that easy, were they? Go ahead and leave this place then. Double jump. There's many things open to us. Lots of things, actually. It doesn't quite completely open up the game yet, but it does open enough for us to really get some exploring done. And oh god, it makes jumping a lot more easier now. It's easy to get so used to the double jump and regret its departure when you have to restart a game, as I mentioned before. Die, Victory Armor. And Alistair's. Actually, they're called Vandal Swords in this game. I don't understand why they would be called Vandal Swords. What? They were broken so they've been vandalized? Uh, what did I get? Oh. Uh. Annoying sword? Fast fuckers, too. Oh well. At least the music's awesome. And my cape is fabulous! Sorry, I had to say that line at least once. I don't know exactly why I'm going this way. I don't necessarily think that there's... Ow. There's any use for the double jump. Maybe in the beginning of the stage. Ah, I don't need holy ashes. I'm gonna lose my holy water, aren't I? Ouch! Well, I regained it, but also I got impaled by spikes. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, get off spikes. Whew. They might have put on the mirror armor. Let's say this does remind me pretty much of the clock tower in Aria Sorrow. Pretty sure Aria Sorrow was definitely going for this game's clock tower when they were designing it. My god, that's twice they give me those ashes. I don't want them, thank you. And they're just trying to get me to get rid of the holy water. I'm just not going to do it. Until you give me, you know, the dual crash styles and needles, then we'll talk. Or whatever the hell it was called. Oh, I thought that was actually something I could walk on. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Skull or glows and we broke his freaking face. I go here and maybe get the axe. I guess I'll I really gotta stop singing in these games. I'm not that bored. Besides, I don't think my singing voice is, you know. I ain't no uh, Harry Connick Jr., I'm afraid. Believe me, if I was, I wouldn't be doing these sort of uh, L YouTube videos. He's doing something a lot different. Well, I guess the double jump was kind of useless here, but not in the outer wall, though. Nor to where I'm ultimately going, which is actually the long library. Thought I forgot about that, didn't you? Yeah, there wasn't too much of a break this time, as opposed to 
the last stuff I played, which was about a week or, or so. Go ahead and save. And the dodecahedron coffin saves our game. The that little dodecahedron thing returns in Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. However, it doesn't do the coffin thing because, well, you're playing a Belmont and not a uh, you know that half vampire son of Dracula. Go figure. I'm still not gonna drop your. Still not gonna drop the goods, are they? Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. Nope. They would give me their stuff, but they're not gonna do it. It's kind of odd, though. Only in the clock tower do the Alistair show up. Or the Vandal Swords, I should say. Only when you're in the clock tower, otherwise the victory armor slash sword lords just die. Let's see here. Nope, gotta go one more lower. Oh, well. I should actually demonstrate how hard those guys hit. I still don't understand why that spear guard sounds different. Ow, just got Donkey Konged. Anyway, I was going to say, I don't understand why those that particular spear guard sounds different than his underground cavern brethren. Here we go. This is where we can start getting some nifty items along the library here. Let's see here. Don't mind me, I'm just looking to see where I can go. Besides, I need to see the librarian anyway. I can actually afford some of his more expensive and better items, so go ahead and deal with that. And I got bat wings. Well, more like bird wings. I'm Birdman! RV Birdman, attorney at laws! I mean, law! I'll take the case! Uh, oh, Harvey Birdman. Back in an age where Cartoon Network didn't suck donkey dicks. Okay, I'm. No offense to people that watch Cartoon Network nowadays, but. I don't know, it was a lot better back when I was watching it. You know, Toonami and Space Ghost Coast to Coast and. Uh, Harvey Birdman, of course, you know, back when they actually showed cartoons on Cartoon Network. I tried watching some of the new stuff, but I just can't. Ever since uh, the. The president of Cartoon Network, the original one, uh, basically re left after the whole Aqua Teen Hunger Force Boston bomb scare thing. Yeah, that was kind of when Cartoon Network then went downhill. Hmm, that was something different. It was a corpse weed. Hmm. Notice we couldn't get here before. This one is just. I should show the corpse weed off. Yeah, it has a human face. It spits acid at us. And loses its head. I make a bad pun, but I'm going to not to. Not make a bad pun, I mean. An interesting one, the few save points that we can actually continue from. Good place to save, though. Data save. Oh dear, these guys. I hate flea armors. Ouch! Ugh, I hate flea mans in general. Ugh. 
Well, that was not too bad. What is over here? Somewhere I can't quite get to yet. Ah, here's our entry point. Doo -doo -doo. We got some cash there. And we got these... I swear, it must be wearing power armor, these flea men, because, I mean... Other armor, they're ridiculously easy and they don't do that much damage, but, you know, in their armor, they do, like... Frick! Was it 19 or something like that? I'd rather not try to find out or remember, because... I'd like to live, thank you. And we got the stone mask. I wonder what the stone mask does. Ancient ceremonial stone mask. It's actually better than the goggles. Okay. Which means it also increased our int. Neat. Doesn't do much of anything. Can also, well... I thought we could... Okay, but I'll say we can have a seat here, too, if we want to. Yes, yeah, so we can prop our legs up on the table there. <laughs> nice effect. Also, if you do this... Secret bookcase. Can we get the Topaz Circulet and the Holy Rod? Holy Rod is damn useful at this point. I should explain. Um... Holy weapons are pretty much badass weaponry because, well, in Castlevania, full of the undead, almost about half of the enemies in this game are weak against holy weapons. So, yeah. It's weaker in our Star Flail, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Also, I love that arcing effect. It'll be anointed by the power of bling! Gleeman, of course, are kind of neutral. They're not evil, per se. They're just annoying. And unfortunately, there is no weapon against the annoying subtype of enemies. Believe me, if there was, a, I would be on it in a heartbeat. That would be the first weapon I go for in this game. Damn Fleeman, seriously, go away. They've been, you're like the unwanted guest at a party. Like Buzz McKillington. Let's see, have I been here? Yes, I have. So am I the only one that noticed the naked statues in the background? And the fact that this place is pretty tall. Ow. Okay, they only do 7 points damage to us. But they were doing a lot of that before. And... Oh crap! Suddenly boss! That can fire photon torpedoes. This is the lesser demon. Okay, he's got Slash Beast Claws, and that thing hurts, trust me. Wow. I killed him before he got to use his other attack. He can summon... He can summon monsters uh, called Mudmen. Actually, he's kind of tough if you don't have the right weapons. He's kind of a glorified mid-boss, though. We'll be seeing him later, and oh boy, he can be annoying. Because in that... F in later incarnations, he'll summon not mud men, but other lesser demons. <laughs> oh, we got the stopwatch. Uh, stopwatch is such. It is the world, though. The Mystery Sword, Onyx, and Frankfurter. Interesting. 
another mist could pass area, but we can't access that yet. We would get something otherwise, so we'll be back here later. I forgot about that, actually. If I knew that, I wouldn't come here first. Oh well. Got some nifty little items. 